Welcome back, lovely to see you. Hope you're all doing really well. Um, festive fun today. Well, not about festive fun, but some festive tips. Tips? Yes, well, okay, some festive um, treats. Kind of. <laughs> Honestly, I'm trying to think how, how I can describe it. So I've got a couple of shopping bits to show you everything is is kind of on a budget so we're doing low budget um i've got a couple of gifts to show you um and and um a festive hot chocolate to show you on a budget if that makes sense but anyway look let's just let's just get into this right and then as i'm going along you'll see what i'm trying to do so um I've popped into the pound shop and now I've only got a couple of things. I literally went in there to get what I needed and I come straight out again. Um, and one of the things I'm going to be showing you in a second, sort of the milk out, is to do a, a super high-end or expensive hot chocolate, but on a budget, right? Because I, I love hot chocolate. I'd rather drink hot chocolate than a, than a latte. I like a latte, but I like this wintry, is like, to me, is hot chocolate weather, you know? So, and the other thing we're going to be doing is our uh, Christmas Eve hot chocolate goodie bags. So I'm doing them in the Santa hats for the children. So I'm going to come to that as well. Um, anyway, so quickly for the pound shop, I needed a big jug. So I'm going to be using that in a moment to do the hot chocolate. This was a pound. It's a big measuring jug. It's, um, I don't know how many litres are on it, does it say? It doesn't say how many litres, but, um, and it doesn't say on here either. It's like 2,000 mils. Well, unless I Google that, I haven't got a clue. Is it two litres, maybe? I don't know, or a litre. Um, you can put this in the microwave, put it in the dishwasher. Um, it's just a big measuring jug, which I, I needed anyway. Um, and I'm going to be using this just to do my hot chocolate in. With our hot chocolate, this is our first little festive project we're going to do with our hot chocolate so i've been looking at um those lovely are they called velvetizer velveteaser or something like that from the shop called chocolat um it's that gorgeous chocolate um shop there's a few in london there's one in blue water and they do their hot chocolate pot so you put your milk in there, you put your chocolate in there and it froths it all up and heats it all up. So I was looking at that um, and it's something like 110 pounds. That's a lot of money. So I'm thinking, all right, Nick, so how can we do this on a budget? So then um, I went on to, I was doing a bit of research and Aldi had a dupe of that, uh, but they're completely out of stock. Um, I can't think how much it was, but I'll flash up if I, I remember. And they was completely out of stock. So I thought, right, okay, then how are we gonna do this? So what I decided to do is instead, because I want it really luxuriously chocolatey, I've got a bar of chocolate, which is half eaten. This is a Cadbury's bar of chocolate. Um, and I've got that amount of squares left. So what have we got there? Three, six, nine, nine. Three, six, nine, twelve. Come on, Nick, count. Twelve squares left. I'm using the pound shop. What's this called? Grater. I've got my milk. I've got my jug. And to froth it all up, you know your hand blenders? One of them is plugged in. That hand blender I've had, I'm going to guess, 15 years, 20 years, something like that. It's so old, there's nothing wrong with it. So that is what we're going to use to froth all this up and make it that creamy, luxurious hot chocolate, you know? So the first thing, honestly, this is so simple, but it's so effective. And it works just like if you used one of those speciality hot chocolate makers, seriously. I did it the other day and I thought, oh, it's so creamy and delish. In actual fact, I put... Um, Cream in mine as well. So this is not a low fat option, guys. This is a full fat option, all right? So hang on a second, and I'm gonna tip the camera down just so I can talk you through what I'm gonna be doing. Got my grater, got my hot chocolate. Not my hot chocolate, my, cho my actual chocolate bars. 
And all I'm doing is grating. Now what I'm going to put under here actually, I'm going to put a bit of, um, what's it, paper. Hang on. Because then, any bits I can, I can gather in here and put them into the, into the jug as well. So anyway, great with chocolate. I know this you might be thinking, oh, it's a bit tedious. But you go in that hot chocolate, that uh, chocolate place, just mind your fingers as well because it's um, the, the grapes are sharp. Uh, you go into that um, chocolate shop and buy a bag of grated chocolate and it was something like four pound or or actually or might have even been eight pound it was so much money and i thought we can do this we can create this ourselves you can even do this right make up your little gift bag so you get your you get your your mug get a bar of chocolate grate it up put them in little gift bags and make yourself your own um, you know, luxury hot chocolate gift, if you like. So I've got a little bit of hot chocolate there, which is obviously fell out. And you will get your shavings like that. I'm going to tip that in there. I'm going to do a bit more. Right, I've heated up the milk. Um, I'll put it in here first because this is the cup I'm using. Put it in the big jug in the microwave. I've done it in for about two minutes. Um, there's our hot chocolate. I'm going to put it straight into the hot milk, but I'm going to save some flakes, a few of the shavings to sprinkle over the top. Give that a quick stir. Then I'm going to get my jujja. I call it my jujja. Give us a absolutely luxe, luxe, <laughs> luxurious hot chocolate with froth on the top. And honestly, oh, you can see the froth on the top there. Can you see it? Yeah, now obviously, you can use any look at that, absolutely perfect. You can use any chocolate you want. Any chocolate you want. By, you know, the supermarket's own makes. It does not matter. It, it's whatever you like the taste of and whatever your budget is. Because, you know, you can buy chocolate, like, five or more, probably. Um, then you get your little shavings. And as I say, I've just got Cadbury's because that's what I had. Sprinkle your shavings over the top. Put marshmallows on it, whatever you want you have perfect hot chocolate and you can see that bit there is the foam and the rest is the milk and you can even put baileys in it as well mm. honestly you don't 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 buy don't go and buy these expensive hot chocolates this is just lush mm. Absolutely delicious. I've probably got to remember that now. Absolutely delicious. Right, let's crack on now with our little. Um, okay, let's not crack on then because the bloody phone's ringing. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's start again. Where was we? Right, so we, the the little um, um, Christmas Eve hot chocolate gift bags, whatever you want to call them. So the bags I'm going to be using are these. 
Um, I've had these for a while. I, I think I bought them last year from Home Bargains. They are a Christmas stocking. That's all they are. You can see the shape of the stocking. They weren't very expensive. Um, so I'm going to use these. So they've got one each of these. Um, it has got a little tag. Yeah, they've got little tags on there so we can cut those off as well. Um, if I quickly show you, all I'm doing, it's nothing major. So I've got my little bag. I've got my little uh, mini mason jars um, to put our little uh, sprinkles in. Um, so they were from Home Bargains, the little Christmas uh, sprinkles. Um, the little mini mason jars were from Home Bargains. What were they, 59p or something like that? I've got some mini mars marshmallows, marshmallows from um, Aldi. Packet of those, very inexpensive. I think they was under a pound. Um, I've got a chocolate bar each. Um, I'm going to put this actually a chocolate, um, the chocolate bomb. What you put in the hot chocolate as well. I've got three of these and I can't find the other two, so um, I'll, I'll just put one in for now. So anyway, the chocolate bombs, what you put in there, and they're filled with marshmallows as well, so they'll have one of them each. Um, and then uh, they've got a mug each. So this mug I got from the pound shop, the snowman, I think they were three pounds, two or three pounds each. And the other mug I got from Maya, was this one at Home Bargains um, with little one written on it. And with dudes, Dolly Dudes, I'm just gonna give her a little, I've got a little plastic um, uh, cup for her. So that's gonna go in, in her one. But I'm just gonna do one, just one for now, just to show you. So all I'm doing, super easy, nice little gifts. Um, and then we've got our bits and pieces, sorry, as well to go with all of that. So. If I do, let's say, Alfie's first, so he's having this one with the little mason jars, I'm gonna just put some of the sprinkles into the mason jars. So they've got enough each. Probably, probably that much. And then we'll get some of the marshmallows. And I'm gonna tip them literally on the top. Oh my God, hang on a minute. Let's get that out of the way. Right, let's put them in there, a minute. <laughs> it's still falling out, for Christ's sake. Can't even put a bloody um, what's it? Funnel? Because they won't. Oh, they might go in the funnel because they are tiny. Right, let's move that out of the way a minute. Okay, so there's my little mini hot chocolate mason jar. I'm going to put the hot chocolate in there because um, so that's a little bit awkward to do. So I'm going to use the hot chocolate out of um, out of the hot chocolate station we got from Home Bargains, which has also got marshmallows and it's also got the candy canes in it as well. Um, so the little mason jar, our, um, our mug, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put in the bottom part, so I don't want to put the mug in the bottom part in case it gets, um, you know, gets dropped on the floor. So we'll put in, in the bottom, I've got a couple of these, I've got um, a box of popcorn each as well. And I've got the shortbread each as well. And I've also got some of those, the little paper straws as well, if they want to have a little straw. So I'm gonna put the popcorn in. This is vegan friendly, by the way, the popcorn shed. So they have a box of popcorn. They have their shortbread, the little um, teddy bear shortbread to go in as well. They're gonna have oh, sweet overload, aren't they? Like that. Do you know what I'm going to do? With this, because this isn't that wide and it's going to take up a lot of room, I'm going to open that up and I'm going to place those in there. 
So that's their little, um, the panda ones. They're going in there. Let's get one of the chocolate bars. Go in there. Straw. I can open it. Open it. Oh, let's open it this way. A couple of straws. Put in a couple of straws. That can sit down the side. Then the little mini mason jar can sit there. And our little mug can sit next to it. That now is completely full up with our little goodies. And then all I'll do is put a bit of tissue paper on the top just to cover it up. Uh, actually, yeah, I'll go and get a bit of tissue paper. I'll wrap this up in tissue paper. Put the tissue paper on the top. And there I've got my little Christmas Eve hot chocolate bag ready to go. And that's it. Easy peasy. Right, I'm going to move that out of the way. Now, that's that little job done. I'll do the other ones later on off camera. I just wanted to show you that. Let's move all that out of the way. Um, and then, obviously, I'm going to put the hot chocolate in there as well. But, that, you know, I just wanted to show you, you know, quickly. Uh, now, going on to my little Christmas gifts. Let me just move those bits out of the way. Um, in the pound shop, I popped in the pound shop to get my silicone, they're not actually silicone, but they're plastic tongs, there was a pound to go with the air fryer. Um, I picked up some more napkins, I've already got one pack of these, but they're always handy. And I just wanted gold and silver, I didn't want any red because my theme is gold and silver, so all the different metallics, I get them for a pound. Um, and I picked up a big chopping board. Now the last couple of times I've been in the pound shop, they have not had these. Um, and I saw it in there uh, when I was in there the other day. Yep, yeah, I, I need a nice big chopping board. These were five pound and they are the bamboo chopping board. So picked up that obviously. Then, now I'm gonna show you a couple of bits I got. This is more towards um, the kids girls in particular um alfie where he's 11 now he's a little bit more fussy so i can go in at primark or primark whatever you want to call it um, and pick up some really nice bits for the girls at really reasonable prices um alfie is a bit more fussy so i don't buy the stuff for alfie out there i do buy t-shirts out there for him but this time of year tracksuits and that you know what they like they want things like nike adidas and all that they cost a fortune anyway so my bag i've got a couple of bags out of pre-mark and as i say this is just literally for the for the girls um so i'll go through let me just move that out of the way i'll show you that in a moment so many bits in here isn't it? so let me just show you some bits if you've got granddaughters um so for maya i've got a couple of little outfits for her so i've got some little jeggings these are aged seven to eight they are five pounds five pounds you cannot go wrong if you're on a budget seriously pre marks stuff you cannot go wrong with it five pounds for a pair of trousers unbelievable so i've got a couple of pairs these are like um leggings as well they was also five pound but they're really cute because they've got like a little um scalloped edge on them now where my is quite tall I've got her, this is age eight to nine, but to be honest with you, it's probably more like a six to seven year old. Um, and I got tops to go with them. So for the car key, I got a little sweatshirt. This was five pounds with a hood. And on the front, it says you are, what does it say? You are, oh, you are the future. You are the future, it says. Hang on a second, Let's take that off. Yeah, and this was five pounds as well. Look how sweet that is. So the khaki colour to go with the khaki leggings. Ten pounds for soup. And I say these are presents. These are Christmas presents, so they're going to go away for her. Um, 
you know, we do buy toys as well, but they've got so many toys. Maya had a birthday in October. She's got toys from that, you know. I'd rather give them practical things, which is going to last them. Um, not, not the toys don't last them, but they get bored with toys. Let's face it. Clothes, they have to have clothes every day. Um, this was really sweet. This was £7. So she can wear this over Christmas as well. Look, bit of sparkle. Um, it's like a denim colour. And that will go with those little um, jeggings there. Scalloped edge bottom. Very pretty. It's like a wall. It's probably not real wool. Um, doesn't tell you what the material is. But, it, but it's woollen, if you know what I mean. Um, let me just see. God, I can't even... Honestly, the writing's so small, I can't even read it. So I'll give up with that. Um, oh, okay, that's that one. Um, is this Myra again? Yeah, Myra again. Did I have something to go with this? I'm not sure, but we'll go with jeggings as well. This was seven pounds, little brace, and this is a sweatshirt with little stars on it. You know, just brilliant. I just love their bits for children in there. Uh, going on to dudes, Dolly Dudes. Again, I like to match. Oh no, hang on a minute. <laughs> I've got some more bits for Myra in here. Where's dudes then? Oh God. Hang on. I could have sworn it. Okay, well, maybe I'm going to come to that then. Um, so, more leggings, unless I've picked up the wrong size. More leggings, um, and they're both £4 each. Leggings go with anything, don't they? They can go with the sweatshirts. Oh, something else for Maya. Where's the dip? Oh, she ain't got a lot in there, blimey. Um, looks like I'm favouring Maya over, over dudes, but actually I've bought dudes some um, some toys and that. So she's, you know, they have the same amount of money spent on each, but she's got some toys as well. Maya's going to go mad, isn't she? Because she ain't going to have any toys. <laughs> um, this was a pretty little jumper. It's got like a little lacy bit around the bottom. That will go with, I like to pair things up, those leggings there. Um, and this little jumper was seven pounds. Very cute. I must have got these then to go with the gray sweatshirt. And then for dudes, I've got her some little pyjamas. The ribbon bits come off, so I just need to wrap the, the, the ribbon bit up. But look, little Christmas trees. Little Christmas tree on the front, a little Christmas pyjamas. And they were six pounds. I mean, come on guys, six quid for a pair of little fluffy pyjamas. So cute. Um, let's get these other little bits out. These are for dudes as well. Um, Little jeggings, fiver. And what I like about these is they're frayed at the bottom, so quite modern and trendy. A matching jumper, the same as Maya, because sometimes I like them wearing the same thing. So again, the matching jumper for seven pounds for dudes. The jeggings. Um, this was cute as well. It was screwed up to bugger. I should have took it out of the bag. Seven pound for the little knitted jumper. Look, all completely screwed up. I'll have to hang these out now to get the creases out. And that's to go with these little jeggings, the car key, and again, frayed at the bottom. So super trendy, right on trend. And then little sweatshirt. This is, says happiness is everything. This was four pounds. And that's gonna go with these little jeggings. Um, and these, oh, where's the price on these? And they were six, six pounds. And they've got little tiny sparkly dots all over them. And they're like a cool dry. So elasticate waist as well. So perfect for her. Right. Got a couple more bits in the pre-mark department. This is, these are bits I've been buying, you know, over a period of time. So I'm going to show you... Um, couple more bits for the girls and I got in Primark this is for dudes um, she could wear this on Christmas Day if she wants to 
Um, this is like a jumper dress. Now, bearing in mind she's only two, so this is going to be, you know, quite low for her. And it actually comes with a little pair of tights. This was £11. Knitted jumper with your um, polar bears on it. And little red sequin scarf and hat. Really sweet. And little bobbles there. Really cute. Um, tights, I'm gonna show you the tights, what I'm matching those up with in a second. This was nice for Maya. This tracksuit, I thought this was really nice. It's a knitted kind of tracksuit. The top has got a hood on it. It was 15 pounds for the set. Hang on a minute, it's all tangled up. How does that go? Like that? Wait a minute. Yeah. Um, it's knitted, it's got cuffed bottoms, and it's got a sequiny pinky stripe down the leg and the arms. Really nice set. It's lovely colour in the navy with a pink stripe down the side. You know, just for knocking about in, you know? But I really like that for over Christmas. I think that's really nice and comfortable to wear. Pajamas um, for both of them again, for the girls. Um, for dudes, I've got her, is it a reindeer? Yeah, it's supposed to be like a little reindeer face. And the fluffy little bottoms. They were six pound. And then for Maya, I've got the matching set, also six pound as well. So they've both got their Christmas pajamas. Right. That's it, I've got labels flying everywhere. So that's it for my little pre-mark haul for the children. Just quickly, the last couple of things. So I got, um, when I was away, I, was, I, I like them to wear matching things on Christmas Day. So I've got them both matching um, buffalo check or plaid or whatever you want to call it, dresses. Christmas dresses for Christmas Day. They came with little bows. They was, these were so reasonable. They were twelve ninety nine each. So let's say, for instance, whatever the dollar rate is, but you're looking at about eleven pounds for this lovely little dress. Um, really sweet, completely fully lined. Lovely material. It's got a little black bow there, and I got tights to go with it. Um, so they've got a pair each. Dolly's already got on that jumper set, a pair of red tights. Um, so they've got red and cream and gold as well to go with their little dresses. And they've got little gold buttons at the back to do up. Really cute little dresses for Christmas day. So I love those bits, love those bits. I was so chuffed with all of that. You know, they're done. I, I think that big pile of clothes there, I'm really reasonably priced. And then the last couple of things, um, I picked up one of these for Christmas Day. This is from TK Maxx, $7.99. It's a Cosmopolitan Infusion Mixer. So in here, so it's $7.99. So in here, you've got the sugars, you've got the berries, you've got some herbs, um, you've got dried fruit in there as well with the, like a sugar base in it. And all you do is add the vodka and you leave it, and you leave it to like infuse everything else. I probably would make this, maybe, we're coming up to Christmas now, I would do this about a few days before Christmas to really let it soak in. And you've also got your little strainer on there as well. So this is this is brilliant to make your cocktails up in, because you've got everything in there, and all you do is add, add your vodka. So well worth that $7.99, keep your bottle after as well. And then this, we've got um, one of our centres um, had a book stall in the middle of the shopping centre. Every book was a pound, every, and I mean every book. The huge, big, thick encyclopedias, they was all a pound. Um, and they were doing a pound each or four for five, no, pound each or five for four pound. Yeah, so you've got one for free basically. So I picked up a few. I'm not going to put all the books on here because I know that some of the family will be watching, so I'm not going to do that. <coughs> but this I thought was good. So my nephew's writing to boxing at the moment. 
This is a really good book by Barry McGuigan. It's when boxing was boxing. Excuse me, guys. <coughs> when boxing was boxing. Um, it's got the great Joe Fraser on the back, George Foreman, Muhammad Ali on the back. The original price was eighteen ninety nine. This is a really good illustrated book. Like what it says on there, when boxing was boxing. Brilliant. For a pound, I just thought, and that is a really heavy book. Hardback book. What a lovely gift for someone who, you know, who's into sports. It could be any sport. He just likes, he's just into boxing at the moment. Um, you've got the greatest Muhammad Ali in there. The illustrations in here is lovely. It's a really nice book. And then little little table little table um, um, presents because we always do table presents. Um, this is for someone in the family who likes Spurs, and it's called the Little Book of Spurs. Um, and I, I, it's quotes, so it's a tiny little book. And in here are quotes from um, the football players. So you know, little table, pre little little table gifts. Th these things like this are really quirky, you know. Or a little tree present. Um, and I picked up a few, so I did get some good bargains with the books. Brilliant. Right, guys, I think I've exhausted everything. Um, I I'm still doing my tree. It it'll be Christmas will be over by the time I finish it. <laughs> but I really want to do it this weekend. I'm just running out of time, honestly. Anyway. I will get to it. And when I do get to it, if I don't film it, I'll just take photos and show you. <laughs> anyway, guys, I don't know what day of the week we are. Um, I started filming this in the daylight. It's now getting dark. <clears throat> anyway, take care, everybody. Look after yourselves and I'll see you soon. Bye.